to my knitting podcast. This is already episode 14. Um, I uh, am Marleen, <laughs> I almost forgot to tell you. And I mostly talk about the things that I've knitted. And today, as well as the last episode, I will tell you also about what I've sewn. Uh, because I uh, make a lot of uh, uh, clothing as well uh, on my sewing machine. Um, and today I'm on a different location. Uh, I'm downstairs now and uh, <laughs> this is actually the best location because uh, all, all the other spots are covered with um, more, um, how you say, stuff. <laughs> So, uh, because the upstairs it's a little bit too warm, the sun has been uh, shining the whole day on the uh, our bedroom. So I thought I uh, just uh, sit down uh, downstairs. Um, so yeah, uh, first I will tell you about what I'm wearing because this is what I've been sewing. It's the hinterland dress. It's uh, patterned by Sue Liberated, and um, I use the fabric is from it's linen from uh, Atelier Brunette. I bought it at um, um, from Anouk from Anche Anche Hand, Handmade. So it's difficult to tell because it's a Dutch name. So it's called Anche Handmade. Uh, you can buy it online and she can uh, send you uh, the, the fabrics. Um, um, last time, I, uh, I think I also told it in the English version, in the Dutch version I told it uh, for sure. I changed uh, a while ago from um, sewing class, sewing, no it's not sewing, sewing class. So like a couple of years ago I found uh, uh, my, um, uh, how you say, my uh, sewing teacher from today, <laughs> which I still have. And uh, she's so uh, nice and not, uh, how you say, not strict at all. If you like to adjust anything or you uh, have made a hole in your fabric, she knows how to uh, give a good solution that you can sew again and wear it as well. Um, so I'm very happy with that because I, before uh, I found this teacher, I had a very strict teacher. Uh, a sewing teacher and I really I lost my interest actually to sew and that's of course not very nice because um, it's a hobby and it's not it's supposed to be nice and supposed to be a thing that you get energy from so I was very happy that I found uh, the, the teacher that I have now and uh, she sold also this fabrics uh, uh, she sells them also, so when you're on the class, you can already um, choose the fabric there. Um, but this is the Hinterland dress uh, from Sue Liberated, and I'm very happy. I did some adjustments. I made the neckline a little bit less boxy because this was like more broader, and I um, I already made this, but I adjusted it later that I brought the, the arm holes, I made them bigger. Um, and what did I do else? Yeah, so now I'm, knit, uh, I'm sewing the pattern again uh, and I adjusted the neckline from both sides. So from this side and this side, I made it smaller or bigger. Um, I will stand up. <laughs> And I'm very happy with the result now. And it has pockets, but I'm going to remove them. I think it has a little bit too much fabric on the hips, uh, which I actually don't like that much. But um, yeah, it's a very nice, very nice dress, very nice pattern. And also, sorry, very nice buttons, um, which I also bought at the uh, Anouk from uh, Anche Handmade. And uh, uh, sorry for my uh, English, it's a little bit, uh, uh, how you say, with a Dutch accent. <laughs> but I hope you can see through that uh, and uh, just listen to the content or hear the content, I mean. Um, I finished the Remy camisole 
and I'm very very happy with that uh, because I started it last July 2022 and <laughs> I uh, uh, yeah well I I did knit on it but until September and then I just stopped with it and let it hibernate until now and this week I started it again uh, or restarted it and now I'm um, very happy that I finished it it's a pattern it's called the Remy camisole but it's uh, a pattern by Kadri and I used BC BC Garn Bio Ballads and I knitted it up in size 2 and my um, circumferences is uh, 96 uh, of the upper body and it's actually how you say it's a very stretchy pattern so this is perfectly fine for me and I also remember that I adjusted the height of the the triangles because I think I needed to make them a little bit longer but I heard from other um, knitters that uh, it's uh, how you say a deep V and I personally I don't like that that much so I adjusted it and uh, made it a little bit higher and now I'm very very happy <laughs> the only thing is that you don't know which is the front and which is the back so what I did is I sewed in a little bit of white so I always know that that's the back and this is the front you can of course also put something inside like um, a logo or anything else but I think this is a good solution as well um, I knitted it up on a 3.75 millimeter needle but when I picked it up like two weeks ago or something like that uh, I changed to a 3.5 millimeter needle because I noticed that I was knitting a little bit too loosely with 3.75 so that's also amazing right you can change so much uh, in, in just one year and um, what else oh yeah it's a little bit see-through because it's of course it's always with the summery uh, tops so the, the, the camisoles that the needle size is bit larger than the recommended uh, needle size for yarn but I, for me it's also not, I don't need to have see-through actually so I always wear it with the other uh, shirt underneath so with the, um, yeah, we call it also a top it's like a camisole but then from uh, fabric <laughs> I don't know the name, I'm sorry um, so I always wear it as uh, one in black underneath so you cannot see anything through and I really like that I made it also longer and I weighed it as well I used a hundred gram so only two balls I didn't know exactly because it was uh, I made it uh, of scrap yarn um, but it's 100, 100 grams only so with two balls it's very yeah it's perfectly fine so um, I don't know if I will make it again it's a very very nice pattern but it takes a long time so two by two rip it just takes a long time and for me it was very good to just practice again with two by two uh, ribbing uh, to get a little bit uh, faster in it there's a man in front of my window <laughs> wait a second <laughs> I never had that before but we live on the first floor on a, yeah it's a kind of busy road uh, but uh, there was suddenly there's somebody on a high worker we call it so a machine that, that can get can you lift you up higher and he's now on the first floor here and he's starting to drill <laughs> oh terrible I will just keep on talking and see if it's working out and otherwise I will pause and uh, record later um, yeah so for me it was good to practice the 2x2 two two ribbing it uh, has um, as you can see it's a little bit wobbly my stitches because I knit continental so yeah that I really need to practice to get it a little bit less wobbly and also I haven't blocked it yet so maybe it will Get a little bit better 
after blocking? I hope so. Uh, then, oh, he's really draining, huh? So I hope he stopped now. But now he's knocking on the wall. I will just continue. Uh, it's always funny because for me, talking in English, it's very difficult actually. And also to make a, how you say, a good video, it's uh, difficult for me. So it's really funny that I, uh, when this happens during the English episode, I always feel like, oh, do I need to, is this a sign? Do I need to continue recording or do I need to stop with the English recordings? So funny always. But I always get very nice responses of you that you like the English videos as well. Okay, so I changed the, the scenario, the, the place <laughs> where I was recording because it didn't work out and he needed to work a longer time. So I thought it's better for me to uh, change place. So now I put on a ventilator. So I hope you don't mind too much with all the noise. Uh, but I wanted to discuss uh, the Remy chemistry. Actually, I don't have anything else to tell you about it because yeah, it's just a lovely pattern and it's especially the result is very nice. And I would really, if you have the same feeling uh, like me about the ribbing, the two by two ribbing, I would say really continue because if you like the pattern, it will be much better if you finish because when you can wear it, it's, it's amazing. <laughs> Um, so I wanted to discuss as well the, uh, uh, the cardigan that I'm test knitting. Uh, I keep it in this cute basket. And uh, this is the... She doesn't have a name yet. I have, Every time I tell you that. But it's uh, uh, from Lieflings van Eve. She doesn't have anything on Facebook or on Ravelry, Ravelry I think. Uh, but only on Instagram. And... Uh, yeah, I'm really loving this. It's such a beautiful test knit. I only wanted to show you the progress a little bit. I will show you, uh, I think, many times because it's taking a long time, of course. It's fingering weight. Uh, I knit it now on a 2.75 millimeter needle. And I used the Jamieson Spindrift uh, yarn. And uh, yeah, it's, I really love this. It's really, it's like a cardigan that I always wanted it. Uh, I think I will wear this constantly. And I think I will also want to be making one in the recommended yarn because she recommends the Durable Socks yarn uh, and also very lovely colors which she made. Uh, I want to copy that <laughs> as well. And uh, yeah, it's such a lovely knit. So I hope I can work on this now and uh, that it's finished because it's nice to have a finished object, especially for the test knit. Uh, the test knit runs until September, so I hope uh, it will work out to do so. So that's this one. And then I uh, haven't shown you uh, that much of this one, but this is the... Um, I wrote it down, the Woodfolk Pullover. I'm uh, knitting this with a gifted yarn from Etna, uh, from etna.nl. Um, and it's a website with beautiful yarn. And also they have their own yarns from Etna. Um, but I use the Man of the Uruguay, the Alpaca Heather. And I am loving it. It's beautiful and it's so, um, I say so very very soft so I hope it doesn't feel too much because sometimes with alpaca that can be the case uh, but oh look at that it's so gorgeous and beautiful so I'm very looking forward to that it's finished the only thing that I'm worried about of course because the alpaca heather is thin, uh, is sport weight and it's very a thicker sport weight and it's actually the pattern is recommended on fingering weight so i hope it will be good because i did some calculations and now i'm knitting on i supposed to be knitting a three size three but uh, according to my calculation i need to make a one 
but I thought I don't, I actually like this one to be a little bit oversized. So I'm knitting a two. And it's really nice because you can, before, uh, the, uh, after this color um, uh, yoke uh, pattern, you need to decide which uh, size you're going to make, I think. Or before that one, I don't know, I don't remember anymore. The only thing that I don't maybe like is the width of the, the neckline. So maybe at the end I will adjust it a little bit that it make that I will make it bigger. But on the other hand, it's a winter garment, so maybe I will like it that it's a little bit more around the neck. Uh, so a lot of buts on this uh, uh, project, but. Um, but <laughs> I'm very curious how it will work out and uh, what it's doing now, I really like it a lot. It's so nice. And the alpaca heather, it's so soft and beautiful yarn. Yeah. And I really love the uh, color work with this yarn as well. Yeah. So uh, that's it, actually. The only thing that I forgot to tell you, it's 150 meters meters for 50 grams um, and this is the color honeycomb um, and it's gifted from Edna <laughs> and then I have also um, two books that I bought and that's actually the last thing that I will tell you uh, it's uh, for uh, knitting for dolls and for little mouse from Maylek so it's for the children mainly uh, I will first show you uh, from the, uh, the the dolls. It's in Dutch. Uh, that's unfortunate, but they're so cute. Look at that. <laughs> it's called Boven de Wolken, number 30, and it's from uh, Julia Shop uh, Breit. And look at that. Oh, it's so cute. And it's really, how you say, it has a lot of uh, beautiful garments, so like a, a wompertje and um, a shallow pet and um, a t-shirt and uh, dresses as well and also there are some accessories I want to show you as well so look at that, a little uh, handbag so cute uh, with also a, a towel on it and also of course uh, the hats and uh, the thing in her hair so yeah very nice and a very lovely uh, book as well and of course for the Melek oh so cute <laughs> and look at that so these are uh, all the patterns inside and I'm first going to make this one I'm really looking forward to it and uh, they have also uh, some sew sewing uh, projects, so like pants or uh, skirts, and also uh, how you say an apron. So yeah, oh, very nice. So I can knit this uh, up for the children. So that's it. Actually, the uh, the things that I wanted to tell you. I'm going to try to. Um, take a video a little bit more regularly so I will try next Thursday to also put a video online it helps me to tell that <laughs> so I can keep my word but it's difficult because my um, editing I will I do it on the computer of my husband and he sometimes doesn't have the, uh, the computer at home because he needs to have it on work of course and sometimes uh, he works with uh, bigger um, files, so sometimes there's not enough space for my videos to upload. So that's the only things that, uh, that can delay my videos. But um, I hope <laughs> it will work out, and I hope by saying it, it will. <laughs> um, so thank you very much for watching. And if you like the video, please uh, hit the like button. And if you'd like to see uh, anything more of me, please subscribe. And uh, I hope you have been knitting uh, something or crocheting something. And uh, I hope to see you uh, uh, to the next, uh, until the next episode. Bye bye.